In this video, we're going to look at some examples of naming aromatic compounds where benzene is a branch off of a chain. And this can happen in a couple of scenarios. So one is going to be if there is a chain longer than benzene present. So that's going to be more than six carbons. Or if there's a chain that has a functional group or another branch. So in this first example, we see that we have a long branch, uh, longer than benzene, and we also see that we have this long branch. So is there one branch of benzene? We have longer than one branch of benzene. That branch is long benzene. Will this be this long double chain? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons. So our alternate carbons are going to be octane. And carbons, and having a group, and having a benzene group. Now, when benzene is a group rather than the parent, we call it now PHB and it has no structure, so it has no extra priority over our groups. So we're even, it's number We don't treat it any differently. So look, going from left to right in our numbering, one, two, three is our first branch. From right to left, one, two, three. And so in this case, we're going to break the tie with the first letter of the group, so methyl versus phenyl, and methyl will win out. So we're going to number from right to left. And our overall name is going to be 3-methyl, 6-phenyl, octane. In this example, we have a shorter chain off of benzene, but the chain that we see off of benzene has a double bond. And so because it has an extra feature, it's going to be our parent chain. So in this case, our parent chain is three carbons. So it's going to be propene. Now this connection between the end of propene and benzene is not an extra carbon. And that's a common mistake that students tend to make. So we have propene as our parent, and then we have benzene as our group, so it will be called phenyl. And as we learned in our alkene naming, the double bond gets the priority, so we're going to name this from right to left so that our double bond has the lowest possible number. So we're going to list everything in alphabetical order. In this case, we just have the one group. So the group will be 3 phenyl propene. You don't need to put any sort of number in here because the 1 is implied, but if you wanted to, just for consistency in your naming practice, you could write 1 phenyl or sorry, 3 phenyl prop 1 ene. 